All right. Welcome back to the show, Tip to T. I'm your host, Angie E., where we talk about everything from motivation, inspiration, and, of course, the tea. So tune in every Monday on YouTube and Can TV to watch previous episodes. You don't want to miss it. I have a special announcement to make. I am here. Um, I'm at a great studio here with... Um, Dream Bear Productions it is very nice. It's, um, I mean, it's really exciting. I am happy to be here. Um, we're doing um, season two, and we're going to be talking about the topic it will be um, prenups. Yes, prenups. We're talking about prenups today on the show. I was, um, everybody been hitting me up. I was uh, going to do something else, but uh, a lot of people had been, you know, inboxing me, texting me, you know, um, commenting on my Facebook and Instagram about doing a show about prenup. So I said, hey, you know, why not? You know, this is something that's very uh, important. It's uh, been, you know, it's been trending um, about prenups. Um, so what do you guys think? Um, if you... Um, you know, thinking about getting married or you already married, uh, was prenup brought up? Was it um, was it a topic of the subject, um, or, you know, or what? Um, I know that um, I have been looking at, you know, doing, looking up some research, uh, and I've been hearing a lot of people talk about prenups, even celebrities that I know um, that has been doing prenups lately. But it's also been bringing a lot of chaos with it as well. So I just want to know what you guys think. All the viewers out there, hit me up. Go to my Facebook page. Type in my name, Angela Eskridge. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think about it. And uh, also go over to my YouTube channel. Type in my name, Angela Eskridge, and leave me a comment below. And let me know what you guys think about prenups, even if you you're thinking about getting married or if you're engaged, whatever it is, if, if you already married, let me know what you guys think about prenups. But uh, let's get back into the subject again. Um, like I said, we were talking about it. Some girlfriends and I, we have ladies night every third Friday of each month. And um, it's all just, like I said, it's all ladies. Um, and we just start talking about it. Uh, most of them, uh, my friends are married. And um, there's a few of us. Uh, or I won't say us, but them um, thinking about marriage and contemplating marriage and it has been proposed to. Congratulations to you guys. You know who you are. <laughs> but um, like I said, um, we talked about it and it's a very, very touchy um, and a sensitive um, subject, I, I was told. Um, so we got to, into it and we were talking about it. Some agree and some disagree. OK, so like I said, um, I've had one friend of mine, you know, I can't say her name on air, <laughs> but she know who she is. And we talked about it. And she said that her and her fiance, he proposed to her maybe three months ago. And now they called off the um, they called off the engagement because she wanted the prenup, but he didn't. And. It just caused a lot of chaos. Um, they have been dating, I think she said, for seven years. And he, you know, went into a rage and felt like, you know, well, you don't love me because, you know, you you know, it's like if, if you did, why would you want a prenup? You know, prenup shouldn't be an option or whatever. But, you know, and she asked me my opinion. And I'm kind of like in the middle. I can't really... I can't take sides, but I can say this. Um, prenup shouldn't be. It. I mean, it's. I guess it's kind of like up and down. I don't know. If that's, it's up to the couple. I think it's up to the individual. If you guys feel like it, there should be a prenup, um, I don't know anybody's situation as far as finances or whatever. But she said that he said some horrible things to her, and uh, he called off. He called it off. So what do you, get, you guys think? Because he told her that I guess she felt like, he felt like she said something about, he said, you trying to um, think I'm trying to come up off you. What does that mean? Like, come up off you. What What does that mean? Like, is that like Ebonics word that they use? I remember back in the day, um, I grew up on the west side of Chicago. We used to talk, you know, real slick and hip and all that. We like, yeah, it's, it's, you know, he feel like, he, you know, it's a come up. So what do you think? I mean, is it really like a come up? Who has the money? Who doesn't? What about if you both got money? What about if, okay, oh, well, well, what about if he has all the money? 
is she marrying him for a come up? I mean, really, is this it's something to think about? That's why it's always a it's, it's a clash. It's it's always something. And so she was like, "Well, you know, okay, she works a good job, and so does he." Now, I'm not going to get into what they do, but they both make pretty they they into the six figures, both of them, okay? So, I'm trying to figure out how do he feel that she's trying to come up. Like they both they got a beautiful home, beautiful family, two children. What what why would she try to come up though? I don't know. I think this is my opinion. This is not something she said or we shared I just think that she's trying to secure her assets. Is that something wrong with a person trying to secure their assets? I don't know. You are already married. I mean, well, if you get married, it's, y'all become one, right? So what's yours is hers, what's his is her. So what's the problem? Why get so angry to the point that you call off the whole engagement? Really? I mean, so I... Is it really something else? Is this really something personal? Are you really, I mean, I don't know. Are you trying to come up? I'm just saying, I don't know, but I'm just saying. Now, I mean, like she told me, she did share this with me. She was like, I came into the relationship. She had bank. She said she had money, okay? So she was willing to, you know, if that's her guy, after five years into their mar- their uh, relationship, she was share. She was share, right? So, I mean, so why would he feel, if she's already sharing, why do he feel like, you know, she, he, she, he's trying to come up on for her? If she's sharing everything already in the, into the relationship, why do he feel that way? I don't know. But anyway, I just want to ask you guys out there, what do you feel about a prenup? Is it really that serious? Or is it, do you feel like, you, you know, you got some, you with somebody for a come up? Or you just, you know, are y'all balancing it out? I mean, if can y'all talk about it? Like, you know, let's talk about our finances because it is something important to talk about when you become, you know, one or when you in a relationship with somebody. I think that's something very important to, to discuss even before you even get to that point of, okay, I'm going to propose or whatever. What's y'all status when it comes to finances, okay? Because like, like, if you want my opinion, I mean, I, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like in the middle. Um, a prenup is 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 cool if that's what y'all want to do, and it, it don't have to be a prenup. I mean, if y'all love each other, you love each other. And like he was telling, she told me, he said, well, when I got with you, you ain't have blank the blank the blank. So. I wasn't with you for what you had. I was with you because I loved you. You ain't had nothing. I ain't had nothing. Does he really have a point there? I mean, I don't know. I was, I've been knowing her for maybe, what, 15 years. As long as I've known her, she had a little something. She did bring a little something to the table. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. So I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to get too personal, but I just think that it's a touchy subject. It's something that you really have to think about, you know, when you into a relationship t- with someone, you know, and then you're talking about marriage, should you do a prenup or sh- I mean, I don't know, but I do know there is celebrities. One, one of my favorite celebrity, I just can't, I can't, I don't know if I can mention her name, but I'm not, but it is a female and she, she's an R&B um, singer. She has a lot of hits. She is a phenomenal woman. And her husband and her was married. As a matter of fact, he was her manager. And from what I'm reading in the blogs, of course, that he tried to take her for everything and left her kind of dry. But I hear she's rising back up or whatever. So that's what I started thinking about, you know, is that really right? You know, um, like I said, prenups are very, very important. I see now. I, I, you know, I don't come from that background. I, don't come, I ain't cut from that cloth, you know. I watch my parents when they got married and they were, you know, dating or whatever. It was prenup wasn't even existing, I don't think, at that time. They loved each other for who they were, for who my dad loved my mom, my mom loved my dad. And as a matter of fact, 
My dad, oh, he was old school. You know, rest his soul. Lord, thank you for allowing me to have a dad like that. But I remember as a girl, I used to see my mom and dad sit at the table every Friday. And I didn't know. I was young. And he would he would hand her over a piece of paper. And he would sign it. He would sign it first to give it to her. And we didn't know. But. And then she would give him, like, whatever, like $10, $15, we used to see that. And that was it. And so I didn't know. I didn't learn till later. My mom, we sat down and talked about I was like, what did Dad used to give you? He's, every Friday I will see y'all sitting there talking, and he would sign something. And she would say he would sign off his paycheck to me every every Friday. My dad worked for the U.S. Steel Mill. I think it's, that's what you call it, U.S. Steel Mill. But I remember him working for a steel mill company. And... Um, my mom explained to me, she was like, he would, she was better with the finances. She was a little bit more, you know, she was a saver. She knew how to pay bills well. She knew what to do, what not to do with the money. So my dad, he was a gambler. I'm not going to lie to you. He would gamble, not like he had a habit, but every now and then he would take $10, $15. My mom said he was a pool shooter. He would go shoot pool or shoot some dice or whatever. And my mom said whatever he lose, that was it. If he won something, she said he would bring that home, a little chain chunk of that, and then keep about $25, $50 and go back and see if he win. If he don't, then that was it. So I think that was, to me, that was structure, to me. That was structure, and, and I believe that that was, that was practical, you know, um, and my mom was telling me, she was like, oh, my God, he was a, such a good man, not because he gave me his the money, but other things, too. You know, he was a great example to me uh, as a man to take care of his family. Now, he had, you know, did he have some other issues? Yes, he did. But my dad, you know, he was a, a straight-up man He to me, and he, he made sure he took care of home no matter what. He took care of home. And I just think that that was so amazing. And my mom said he did this for at least 15 years of their marriage. He went in. Like, he would be like, what is it that the kids need? What is it that you need? You know, um, if it's something extra that you need, I will definitely, you know, I will make sure I got it or I work overtime or whatever if we don't have it. My dad worked a lot of hours, you know, whereas kids, we were like, well, why you always work so much? Like, we wanted his time, too, but we didn't understand. And then after a while, when we became teenagers, my mom did explain, and he explained to us, too. He was like, well, I was trying to, you know, make sure I worked and and had enough money so that you guys wouldn't want for anything, and we didn't. It was, it was five of us. It was five of us. It still is five of us, and we wanted for nothing. I, I'm not saying we had everything, but we wasn't like, okay, I'm a still stay on this. I'm on the subject of prenups, but I'm talking about how it used to be back in the day because we didn't know nothing about no prenup. Prenups didn't even ex- exist. But I do know that my dad would say stuff like, you know, um, I just made sure everything was, I wanted to make sure everything was good. And I used to hear like my some of my siblings, they was like, well, we was poor. I didn't know we was poor. We, we probably was, but I didn't know, you know, we was poor because we had plenty of food. We had, you know, we wore nice clothing. As a matter of fact, in my senior year, I won um, for Miss the Best Dressed. So, I mean, not saying that that's everything, but I didn't know that we was poor because I don't remember ever missing a meal. I don't, you know, praise God for that. I don't ever remember us being poor. I don't, I don't know. But I had plenty of shoes and stuff. I used to wear, matter of fact, I don't know if y'all ever remember Converse's, but we didn't call them Converse, we called them All Stars. And we used to sing this little song, don't get the one that slip and slide, get the one with the star on the side. <laughs> so we really, we enjoyed that. And I think every color that came out, we had a pair of All Stars to match every outfit. So I'm thinking, okay, we cool. You know, like I said, I didn't know that we was poor, but I didn't know that a pair of All Stars back then only cost maybe, what, 10 bucks or something like that. Now they call them Converse, and they cost, what, maybe $50 or something? Because I heard my daughter tell me, yeah, I'm going to get me some Converse, and I'm going to go to order them online or whatever. And she was talking about 50 I said, 50 something dollars. She was like, oh, they got something cost more than that. Really? But anyway, we're not going to get off into that, but I'm just trying to, you know, stick on the subject about 
you know, prenups. What do you guys out there think about a prenup? Do you think it's sufficient or do you think that, okay, you know, love is love, okay? If you love somebody, it shouldn't matter um, um, if you get a prenup or not. I mean, like I said, true love is true love. Should, should it be a prenup or should it, shouldn't it be? I mean, what do you think? Let me know. Hit me up again. Like I said, hit, go to my Facebook page, type in my name, Angela Eskridge, and let me know. Leave me a comment below and let me know what do you guys think about prenups. Because like I said, prenups back in the day, well, as far as I know, it didn't exist. We didn't know. I've been married. Um, I never brought up prenups. I mean, I do poor people get prenups? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, I don't consider myself as being poor because God always provided for us. But what I'm saying is, like, we didn't even think about nothing like that. I mean, I'm not saying poor people, but I'm thinking, so only do only celebrities go through that? Does uh, rich people, are they the only one that go through that? My friend, I don't think she was rich but I think they was well off I don't know but are those the only people that you think that talk about prenups or or whatever because like I said back when I was growing up I never I matter of fact I never even heard the word until I became an adult prenups what is that I'm like what I never knew what that was until I started, you know, okay, of course, you watch TV, you're going to hear that stuff on the media and all that, you know, crazy stuff. But I've heard so many stories, and then on my research, I've heard people have gotten killed. It's so sad. That's why I say this is a touchy subject, guys. This is really something. I've heard, you know, people have, you know, left their spouses, um, called off, their, the the, the uh, proposals called off the engagements because of this prenup stuff. I think you guys, um, you know, when you're out there and you even contemplating this stuff before marriage or before engagement, always, you know, please, y'all, you know, sit down, go to counseling. You know what I'm saying? Go to counseling. I don't know your religion or your beliefs. But maybe you should go to your, whoever your leader is or your pastor. I don't know. But I think that it should be discussed and it should be, it, it should be some type of um, understanding, you know, be on one accord with this because it is very touchy. And as I was reading, like I said, doing research, I've heard um, a, a woman killed her husband because, um, yeah. Because of a prenup, okay? Um, he took off with all the money and left her with nothing. And he ended up spending money on another woman. And she found out and she uh, waited till he went to sleep or something. It was, it was a sad story. Um, and she had still had access to the, uh, to the house. And she came in and saw them both in the bed and killed them. This is, whew. but anyway, this is really a a, a touchy situation and a, a touchy subject like I said make sure you um really go through you know some counseling seek counseling something or talk to someone before this and and make sure uh the love is real and like I said you can still love someone if you want to have a prenup that's that's up to the individuals but make sure you definitely you know talk about it be on one accord you know, and, and make sure you come to a happy medium and um, and everything. So with that being said, um, I'm going to be talking about this uh, throughout the whole the month of uh, September as well. We're going to talk about more about the prenup situation. And is it really sufficient in relationships? Is it really sufficient um, in, in marriages? You know, because like I said, a lot of. A lot of um, celebrities I've read about have, and non-celebrities have had these, you know, um, these real bad um, breakups and, and stuff like that, you know. And so it's like, man, can, can we come to some type of an agreement, 
Is it is it is it some kind of way we can hold on and hang in there and and forget about you know forget about this? Or if you both agree, hey, then then let's do it. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, just make sure you know you guys are are are, are on one accord. And then I read another story um, about this couple. Um, they uh they had been contemplating marriage for maybe four or five years. And um, they had got everything going. They had planned the wedding, uh, the proposal, everything. Um, they, I mean, got, actually they was doing a destination wedding, I think somewhere in the Bahamas or something. And they, they got all the way to the altar almost. I think the lady was waiting for the guy. Um, the, the, the bride was waiting on the groom. They had all the people in their wedding set up everything. Do you know that the woman was stood up at the altar? Come to find out they could never, she was so heartbroken, right? Come to find out, he said that she wouldn't sign a prenup. Neither one of them, that no one knew. She, after a while, they said that she had finally went to her, her parents and, and, and told her parents that, the reason why he didn't show up is because a week prior to them getting married, she told him no. But he, she was still under the assumption that he was, they were still cool. They was getting married because he was going and, you know, talking to his guys in the wedding, all the, the best men, everybody have gotten their suits and everything. So she was thinking, okay, then, okay, everything is cool. Come to find out, yes, she was stood up at the altar because she wouldn't sign a prenup. She was very, very heartbroken. And this story just really touched my heart. Like, why, you know? And they had been together for four, 14 years or something, you know, on and off. And they finally got it back to, you know, got back together. And they was really, you know, trying to really make it work. And come to find out, yes, he left her standing there at the altar. And she was so heartbroken. She just could not even phantom the thought why he would do that over now I don't know who had the most money I, obviously it was the her I don't know but because when they said um and when I as I read on in the story they said that her parents paid for everything and uh, so I just kind of you know just kind of figured that she had the money or whatever so when she found out it was I mean when he he said that she wouldn't have signed. She said that he just left her there. That's the saddest thing I ever. I mean, wow, that's crazy. It's not the saddest thing I've ever heard, but that was the that was so sad that he wouldn't he wouldn't um, show up to marry her. And um, so a lot of people I saw comments, you know, the reviews. They was asking, "Are you still with him? Um, do you see you guys moving forward? Are you gonna continue to date him?" or whatever, um, what, you know, what will she do? And she just really couldn't even answer. She just had no words. She was lost for words. So it was just really, really like, it was a very, very sad situation, and I felt so bad for her. But like I said, you guys, um, like I said, we're going to do a part two segment on prenups, and I really would like for you guys to chime in and uh you know, and just try to, you know, leave, like I said, leave me comments below if you like or enjoyed this episode of Tip to Tea with Angie E. Let me know. And um, let me know what you think about prenups. Are they really, really important in a relationship or marriage? What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments. Go to my YouTube channel. Type in my name, Angela Eskridge, and please leave me a comment below so that we can get, you know, I want to hear your take on this. What do you think about prenups and marriages or relationship? Make sure you, like again, I say, please leave me a comment below. Go to my YouTube channel, type in my name, Angela Eskridge, or go to my Facebook page, type in my name, same thing, Angela Eskridge, and leave me a comment below because I need your input on this so that we can talk about and elaborate more about this prenuptial thing of in marriages and relationships, okay? So with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. 
Um, this is Tip T with Angie E. So I'm going to get ready to close out. Uh, see you guys on the next one again. And also, don't forget to leave me a comment below. Go to my YouTube channel. Okay? All right. So if you or anyone you know in the Chicagoland area would like to would like to come on the show or be my special guest, please leave me a comment below. Don't forget, this is Tip to T with Angie E. Go to my YouTube channel, and you also can catch me on Can TV. Go to Chicago TV and type in my name, and you will see the previous episodes. Don't forget, again, this is Angie E with Tip to T. See you next time.